Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, June 12th. So it is about 1.30ish in the afternoon and I am just sitting here with my planners. Like I am trying, I've got my everyday planner. I've got my work planner. I've got my budget planner. I've got my fitness planner. Like I am just sitting here trying to get my life together. Today is the first Sunday and I don't know, in a few weeks that we haven't gone to church because I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm being honest with you guys. Um, okay, so one of the main things I need to do today is I need to figure out meal planning because this summer things are just not going the way that I plan. So at one point I thought that we would do HelloFresh and my daughter and my husband would be able to prepare more meals throughout the week so that would take some of the burden off of my shoulders. Well that worked for a little bit but I have to admit once the promo ran out on HelloFresh the price just like started going up 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 and I was like yeah no we're not doing that. So I actually ended up canceling our HelloFresh subscription. Um, I'll put the price here. Like this is where it started. I'll put that, I'll insert that number here. And then by the time I canceled it, which was about four weeks, this is how much it cost. And I was like, no, I can just save this money um, by doing my own grocery shopping at the store. So that's what happened with HelloFresh. Oh, the other thing, um, I do want to apologize. In the background, I've got the dishwasher going. I've got like the washer, the dryer. Like it's Sunday, I've got a reset. So there's just all kinds of activity going on. But I, I don't know about you guys. Like I don't know if you've ever been on a fitness journey, weight loss journey, whatever it may be. And if you prepare different foods than what your family eats, but then your family eats your food too. <laughs> like what the heck? So usually that's not a big deal for me because I prepare like enough, but I have to be honest in saying that with the rising cost of food, I've been trying to like kind of like guesstimate and only make what we're actually going to eat, or what I'm going to actually eat and what they're going to eat. So one thing that I've been doing is I've been preparing, preparing dinners like for everyone. Like I'll do their dinner separately and then I'll make like my protein so I can have my salad or whatever. But that's not working out because the adult child is home during the day. So I just kind of like assume she'll make her own lunches, right? But like she's so used to being able to like eat whatever I have. And again, like it's not a problem. I just got to find a solution. Well, I guess that makes it a problem. Anyways, so like she's just used to being able to eat whatever I have available in the refrigerator. But now because I've cut back and I never told everyone like, hey, by the way, don't eat my food. I've cut back um, because of food prices. So her and my husband, they're still eating my proteins. So I'm running out of food that I prepare for myself. Like I'm out of fish and chicken and stuff towards the end of the week. And then like Thursday, I ate from Wawa for lunch and breakfast. But Anyway, so that's what you'll see in today's video. Um, I know that I've been showing you guys a lot, like the grocery haul for myself and my family, but what I'm going to do, what I believe I'm gonna do, is today when I go to the grocery store, I'm gonna split them up so that you guys see like, this is what my family's eating and like, this is what I'm eating. Um, and then I think I'll only show you guys the meal prep for my food. And that also clears things up in case people are looking for meals for weight loss, but yeah. Anyways, it is crazy here in my house today. Things are not very organized. Like I said, I'm sitting here with all of my planners trying to get my life back together. Um, and in tomorrow's video, so I started this 12 week transformation. You guys know I'm a physical therapist, so I've taken myself on as a client, like as a patient, and I've been creating workouts for myself. So next, so tomorrow in tomorrow's video you guys will see the first weigh in and how the first week kind of like i'll do a little recap of how the first week went but yeah before i go out i need to finish organizing everything here create the meal plans and then clean up our refrigerator all right before i go to the grocery store i need to clean this fridge oh my gosh this is what happens when you have like five different people going in and out every day like it's just not even like we've got to do better <sighs> 
so yeah so first before i even go to the grocery store i'm gonna clean this fridge because one i want to do some meal planning with things we already have and then two i don't want to rebuy you know rebuy stuff and three i need a place to put everything once i come home so let's get that done It is now 3 p.m. I still haven't left the house yet, but with all of the produce that was in the refrigerator, this is what I've created. I think that might be too much light. This is a salad that I've created. Turn the light off so you can see the salad better. It's like huge. All right, let me put the light back on. Ooh. All right, so that's the salad that I created because whenever I tell my husband that I want a salad, like I eat salads for dinner, this is what I get. And God bless him. So one of our family goals has been him participating more in the cooking and he's doing a great job, but <laughs> I can't eat this every night. Like I love salads every night, um, but I like like this this is a salad to me so but it's okay i just took all of the produce that was in the refrigerator and i'm still in my pajamas so and what i'm gonna do is stuff these jars you guys have seen me make salads before in mason jars and then i just put them in the refrigerator so that's what i'm about to do here so that this week whenever i want a salad i can just grab like one of my mason jars so yeah so as you can see here i was able to make one two three four five six seven salads from what was in there so i'll take the rest of this and i'll toss it in here and then i'll add some more veggie to it veggies to it and this will be our dinner salad for tonight for everyone all right you guys it is currently 506 and i am finally about to leave the house to go to the grocery store i'm finally out of my pajamas I just put on a t-shirt and some shorts and the kitchen is finally semi cleanish and i've actually done like most of the meal prep i just need to make some spaghetti for my family and also like some taco meat so that we can do tacos during the week but um yeah and the refrigerator is clean so just need to head out all right guys so here is a quick scan of the food that i bought for my family and then i'll also show you guys what i got for myself so we've got some bananas, um, hot sauce, salsa. I'm actually going to make some taco salad. I thought I was gonna make spaghetti tonight, but I'm going for like the mom win and they're gonna have taco salad. And these were ridiculously expensive, um, like $5 and something. And taco seasoning, grapes, coffee, um ziploc bags and then these were two for ten dollars these were buy one get one free the ziploc bags and this was 5.99 and the bananas were 59 cents each but they only had the green ones so i got one set of organic that's like already ripe and these were 79 cents a pound okay so again two for ten this Gonna toss in the crock pot and do like a little roast. This was $8.46 on sale. Actually, yeah, $8.46. And this, you guys, I'm gonna insert a video. So this is $6.14. I'm gonna put a video in here. I took it on my phone. As you can see, this was like 30 something dollars for chicken. Like that is ridiculous. And 20 something dollars on sale. What? Okay. And cheese for sandwiches sour cream this is buy one get one free i have one over on the table that i'll be using this week and more coffee for that's for me and them and then this is buy one get one i have one and there's one for my daughter we'll cut those into sections um and then some turkey breast oh and strawberries all right so i'm going to flip it around over to the table and show you guys what i have for myself for the week all right, so we've got broccoli for lunches and then cheese. I like these. 
they were two for five dollars and then popcorn some organic half and half i am going to have some celery and carrots as um like to pack for my lunches and then i got some salmon this was 602 575 665 and that sour cream like i mentioned was buy one get one no it wasn't it was two for four dollars and i'm going to mix this into the sour cream and use that for my carrots and celery and then some strawberries oh and pork you guys so i just came outside real quickly because i remember that in the video i told you guys that like i had just been like a little overwhelmed this past week so um let me tell you so part of that has to do with the fact that and i could do like a whole video on all the stuff i've learned about insurance through this entire experience with us going through a hell storm um here in florida like how often does that happen um but yes yeah, so we've had to have our roof replaced we've had to have windows replaced my car is currently in the shop it was supposed to be in there it's been in there for like almost two weeks now it's supposed to be in for like three days um so i've been sharing a car well first i had a rental car but now i'm sharing a car with my daughter and just trying to work around everyone's schedule and be done working on time and just trying to fit everything within a certain amount of hours has just kind of been a little bit overwhelming and then also um also, I don't know about like you all, but I do not enjoy like having to do a lot of follow up. Like I just like it when people just do their job and I know that, you know, they're gonna do their job. Like they're going to follow up with me when it's appropriate. Um, but no, um, customer service nowadays, you've got to follow up consistently. So it's been a lot of that, like just following up with, um, different people and with the insurance company and just a lot of administrative work like making copies of everything and sending emails and the CC and just it's just been a lot and even like with the people that um, are that the people the company that's repairing my car so initially I got a loaner right like for the three days that they told me that they'll repair my car so I called in at the end of those three days and I'm like, hey, my dog's going crazy. I was like, hey guys, just checking in. Like, do I need to extend my rental? Like what's going on? And the girl goes and she's like, let me go talk to them. And then she comes back and she's like, um, yeah, we were waiting for a supplemental to be approved from your insurance company. So we haven't worked on it yet, but we just received that. So now we're gonna start moving forward. What? You mean to tell me this entire time you had my car? Like I could have been driving my car, but instead I'm paying because we don't have, um, because our auto insurance does not cover rental cars. So I'm paying for a rental car while my car is just sitting there and it's drivable, but it's just sitting there. Like what is wrong with people? Like just call the customer back and say, hey, you know, um, we were waiting just something communicate communicate so that's been one thing and then i also think i need to do a, a video about why everyone needs a rainy day fund because insurance is not what everyone insurance is not what i thought it was um yeah i'll do a video on that um yeah anyway so i'm about to go back inside i'm done cooking everything and I'm gonna show you guys what I cooked. Oh, so, also, so I talked about how, like when your family eats your meal prep. So what I've decided I'm gonna do is, you know the vegetable drawers in the refrigerator? Well, I took all of the vegetables out when I cleaned the refrigerator. And those are going to be my drawers. Like, those are gonna be the drawers where I put my meal prep and also like any foods where, you know, like, if you're the main cook in the house like sometimes you have different ingredients where you have plans for them like you plan on using them for something else you have you're going to use them so those are going to be my drawers where i have my meal prep and things that i plan on like cooking later so we'll see how that goes i'll let you guys know but yeah i'm going to go back inside and show you guys what 
all I've prepared for myself and for my family and yeah we'll wrap up this video and again don't forget to come back to the next video because I'm going to talk about how my first week went my dog is peeing like right in front of me so rude <laughs> all right see you inside all right so here's food for my family we've got taco salad taco meat because there are some soft taco shells in the pantry that they can use later this week some sweet some sweet potato baked beans rice rice barbecue chicken corn and salmon i was nice i'm sharing with my husband and then my food two servings of rice um salmon and chicken breast and then i did mix that i did mix that ranch dip with the sour cream and then i have more stuff in the refrigerator which i'll show you guys in a bit okay so here is the inside of the fridge so as i was saying here is like this is my area so my, all of my proteins are in here the salmon chicken there's some rice there's cheese um tuna packets and my dip and then i don't know if you guys can see the celery and the carrots are back there and then my fruit is all over here so i have apples and blueberries and strawberries and then all of my salad containers are over here. So, probably can't see all of them, but there's seven. So, you can see them from the top. They're all there. Okay, this will be my food for the week. And there's some hummus and lemons and green onion. Alright, so everything that's like out is free play for everyone. So, eggs and here's two HelloFresh meals that my daughter needs to cook <laughs> they need this for tonight um yeah this is like all of their food the rice and you know everything i prepped and then that's free play well that's my daughter's but you get it all right so let's try this out and see if my food being in there will be safe this is everyone's Yeah, so that's all I have for this video. Wish me luck <laughs> that my family won't eat my food prep. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.